sharing it with thank us. You. Thank you so much. I love y'all. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I like that. That's a good one, sister. Uh, <laughs> You know, I don't know about you when I was young, I used to play sports. I was pretty good at tether ball and softball. Remember that back backboard ball these used to play? I was good. I had I had to be the I had to be the best. I wasn't that good at softball though. Anyway, doesn't it feel good when you won? Something in our spirit. Yeah. Something in your spirit when you won your checkers, you happy. There's something in your spirit. <laughs> When you win a little cheap prize at some some little office, and you went, my name was called. Y'all, the eyes get all big. <laughs> you know, it don't take a whole lot. People, of course, get excited at the lottery, but I'm talking about just small things in life. Um, I was the fifth grade champion of tetherball at Marvin oh, Avenue man. Elementary School, Los Angeles. I ain't never forgot that. I had to beat all the girls and then turn on and beat the best of the boys. What, what, what kind of ball was that? Tether. With the pole, tether ball. Oh, tether ball. Okay. That was that was a, that was was something. Because I was a little skinny something. But it was all in the technique. I want to talk to y'all a little bit about that sometime. It's all, yeah, it's all in the technique. How you hit that ball. I wasn't the strongest. But I had a way of hitting the ball to keep it out of the enemy's hand. You got to learn how to hit this ball. Keep it out of the enemy's hand. That's your life. Y'all standing there watching, but he says you are a winner. Hit the ball with the power of the Holy Spirit and you'll win. Don't do it on your own accord. So I just love to win. I play backgammon on my uh, iPad, whatever they call it. And I don't care how many years I've played it, I like to win. I believe y'all put that in us, each one of us, because there's some good, great coming. And if you think you get excited over a, a ball game or a checkerboard <laughs> game or uh, uh, you get get your name picked out of the raffle and win a prize. And if you think that excites you, <laughs> well, wait till you see what's coming. He said, "I have not seen, <laughs> but neither has the ear heard of the great things that Yah has planned for you and I." You can't even in your imagination come up with anything to come close to it. So, why would, if I get excited over winning a silly electronic backgammon game, if I can get excited about, it all gives you a good feeling when you get so much to get excited. How much more is that thing that's coming that's indescribable? I'm saying that to encourage you, no matter what you're going through. And we're going to pray for Sister Dot today, no matter what you're going through. <clears throat> you're not by yourself, and there's something so great coming. This is but a little bit that won't even be remembered. You won't remember these days. It won't even be worth remembering. I want to pray for Dot. Dot has brought some issues. I don't know how much of it she wants me to explain, but I will let you know that she needs prayer to be uh, given the favor of the Most High over these uh, people at her, I think, electric company. And we want Yah to intercede for her and to bring her out victorious in it. I want you to pray and agree as a family because it's always powerful when we agree together that this, situ this situation that she is in will be rectified shortly, not, not, not a long span of time, but soon. So soon it'll just be days. But Immediately. That I will thank you that we are holding on to her, her funds and doing her the way they are. 
will cease and desist. In the name of the Lord, let us pray right now. Father, we come to you in the only name we know. Your name, Yahuwah, Yahusha. You are our salvation. You are our provider. Everything we need is in you. Nothing outside of you is needed because there is nothing outside of you. You are the all in all. You are the Ahaya. You are the I am that I am. You are our Father. You are our Abba. You, Father, we're asking right now, as our sister Renee said, immediately. For this situation with our sister Dot and her family to be rectified with this electric company and all involved. Open the doors wide that she can walk through and close every door that should be shut. Bring opportunity right now to her doorstep. Give her an audience with those that need to have an audience with and no audience to those that need no audience. That this thing would be done to the glory and to the honor of the Most High, Yahuwah Elohim, and bless his daughter, daughter of Zion. We ask this blessing. We ask this in the name of Yahuwah Yahuwah. So let it be said, so let it be done. Amen. So, spoken, so done. Hallelujah. I don't know. God's so awesome. There's a song say, bring your burden to you and leave them there. All is bothering you. I have things I'm waiting on for too. Don't think I'm not. But I know he's going to come and he's going to provide it and he's going to do it. Have faith. Have yes. faith in you Yes. All yes. right. Yes. Let's go to our, our wonderful uh, lesson. And we're going to ask someone, I'm going to ask my husband to open us up in prayer, prayer. Uh, we want you to bless mm -hmm. this over this and, um, you know, hmm. no, this all got a, a change. Nicole, you're going to pray for us, please. Nicole, with, with Nathan, Nicole, Nathan's Nicole, something else, you, you, uh, you say something, uh, over this, uh, man-made towers and and uh i want y'all to bless there's more to what this is on this paper i know he wants to say to us and i want us to be open to hear it and when the towers fall mm -hmm. so uh let's go with uh prayer from you to open this up before we study do that please heavenly fathers we come before you father yeah we just give you thanks, praise, and glory today because this is a day in which you have made and we will rejoice and be and be glad in it. Father, we thank you for this time of fellowship. Um, we thank you for being a part of this meeting, Heavenly Father, because you said where two or three are gathered, there you will be in the midst. Yes. So we thank you for the message that you have prepared, that you have laid upon your servant's heart to share with us. I thank you, Father, for opening up our hearts and our minds to receive that which what you desire for us to receive yes. from this message, Heavenly Father. I pray that we will receive it in spirit and in truth, Heavenly Father. I thank you by the power of your Holy Spirit for the interpretation, Heavenly Father. Let us not run with what we think in our flesh, but Heavenly Father, I pray that we will receive everything in spirit and in truth, Heavenly Father. Father, we thank you for the testimonies. We thank you for the breakthroughs. We thank you for being with, I thank you for being with each of us, Heavenly Father, in our respective homes, towns, and our city. And we just thank you, Heavenly Father, for the victory as, for the victory that we will receive Hallelujah. in you and through you, Heavenly Father, because everybody here is going through something. We're all going through something, Heavenly Father. But as we continue to look up to the hills from whence yes. come our house, Heavenly Father, I pray, Heavenly Father, we will know and understand and continue to know and understand every day, Heavenly Father, that anything that we are able to achieve and do, it's because of you and you alone, Heavenly Father. Yes. And you said that you will not share your glory with no other, Heavenly Father. 
And I just give you thanks today, Heavenly Father. And I just thank you, Heavenly Father, you will receive the glory for our lives, Heavenly Father, as we continue to put our trust in you and look to no other, Heavenly Father. We thank you for the help that you will send through the use of your through the use of different servants and we just thank you heavenly father for all that you are doing for all that you continue to do heavenly father we just thank you for having your hand upon us our family and our friends that we are lifting up in prayer before you father and we again we just give you thanks each and every single day that you will allow us to come together to fellowship with one another and we're just grateful. We're thankful. We're thankful that you brought us out of the darkness and brought us into your glorious light, Heavenly Father. And we thank you. We, and again, we, we're just grateful. We're grateful to be in your presence, Heavenly Father. And we just thank you, Heavenly Father. The message will touch who it needs to touch out there in YouTube land. And we just thank you for waking up our fellow brethren and sisters, Heavenly Father and Mashiach, that they will come into the truth also. So we just give you thanks today, Abba Yahuwah. And we give you all the glory, all the praise, and all the honor once again. In your Hushma Mashiach, let me pray and give you thanks. Amen. Oh, glory. Let's give y'all some glory right up in the house. Thank you. That was the Lord Spirit. Thank you, Sister Nicole. All praises. Yes. All praises. I got the glory. Worthy to be praised. The is hearing us right now. I got one more thing. We start. <coughs> Leslie, we want to hear a testimony that you began. I wanted you to give that testimony now. Uh, we have a blessing for the body, uh, uh, not only this body here local, but also uh, for your brothers and sisters uh, all over the earth where they are. So, would you please give, uh, give us your testimony that you had begun? And I stopped you and asked you to do it for you to. Please do it now. Oh, oh yes, mother. What what I was saying was I was experiencing a heaviness this week, uh, frustration, you know, in my studies and stuff, and just trying to get out of that cycle of confusion that these religions have brought on our people. You and know, you from describe it. Describe escaping it. Christianity to learning uh, who we are, and then getting with the wrong people, you know, in these brute beast camps and things like that. Uh, and just, I'm just so grateful to have a personal relationship with the most high. Otherwise I would have thrown in the towel a long, a long time ago, you know, but, um, but just the heaviness and frustration, you read the scriptures, you're used to a certain understanding. And now, especially, that I finally arrived where y'all wants me to be with, with you guys, with my family, wow, with your family. you know, and, and more and more information. And it's a lot and it can be overwhelming. Um, <laughs> the frustration with all that, but at the end of the day, uh, it inspired me to start writing again because I was wondering, you know, I said, well, you know, I had always been a writer, you know, and I only wrote, uh, the one song, Father, you know, but I was inspired to write a song um, from our group here to uh, to the Father, you know, that I've been that I've been working on. So, um, you know, prayerfully by this time next week, I'll have that together. Yeah. Um, but it was just a such a frustration. It's like, man, Father, will we ever get? out of this confusion, you know, and just uh, even on, on Saturdays, you know, I had been used to doing the, the Sabbath or thinking I was doing the Sabbath from Friday to sundown to Saturday sundown and just trying to get out of that mode and trying to uh, uh, train myself to do just the, the opposite of what I used to do to come out of that, yeah. you know, and, and I find it harder, you know, uh, what is that term? Not e easier said than done. Yeah, easier said than done. <laughs> but, uh, and so it, it was just such a, a major frustration from communion. Remember, I, I reached out to you about that. You know, I had been doing that every week and all of that. And, you know, and just, 
just all the confusion. And I'm just so grateful that the, the father had, has placed me at this time with uh, my brothers and sisters th that are really awake and trying to live right, you know, and not just turning this thing into another religion, there you, go. you know. And so, uh, so I'm really grateful for that. And in, at, the, at the end of the day, it's inspired me uh, to start writing again. So all praises to the most high. Sometimes you got to go through the valley, don't you, to get up to the mountaintop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got to kind of meet your enemy. You got to kind of meet the enemy sometimes. You don't yeah. want to get him because he's ugly. Okay. But you got to meet him sometimes. Head on. So that what? So you can uh, understand oh. what's going on and you can go on and get back on your trip and get on back up to the mountaintop because that's what he's there for. To make sure you know, oh, I'm not on the mountaintop right now. I'm dealing with you, huh? Oh, okay. I got to get back up there. So what do I got to do? I got to put you down. And then I move on up. So, yeah. That's what you did. And that's why you got inspired. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise y'all. Yes, Sister Renee and then Sister Brother Lewis. Okay. Yeah, I too was, you know, del delving in those um, camps that I find are abusive yeah. because they know that we come from an abusive place. And so they take advantage of that by, um, you know, saying and doing what they say. Um, I was I was there too, Sister Leslie, and I'm going to tell you what I had to do in order to um, right the ship. I just turned it all off. I turned off everything. Our house is so peaceful now. The only one we did keep was, was mother, mother Waiters. And we just turned everything else off. And I'm telling you, the whole house just became peaceful and and, and, and the Holy Spirit was actually here and you could just feel it. So once you shut all that stuff off, you know, of course you do your prayer, you do your whatever you do. And as far as the Sabbath goes, it's okay to rest. You know what I mean? But as far as, you, like she said, you can't keep it, but it's okay to take a, a day because we do, we take a day to rest because uh, it's just, it feels deserving, especially for me, because being out in this garden, I mean, I'd be out there every day, seven days. If I, you know, I got to take a rest and, and, and I have to tell myself to take that rest. So I think it's yeah. okay to get a rest. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I understand that it's just the, uh, uh, the resting without the, uh, <laughs> what you call it, ritual yeah, that, that went with it coming out of that. You know what I mean? Just you know, deciphering the difference between the two. And it's like, no, so now we kind of got to do opposite of what we were doing until we could get out of that, you know, for me, you know, that's all. But, but it that's shouldn't be a burden. That's the thing, it shouldn't be a burden. And when it's a burden, then that means it's, it's so, you know, you got to lift that, that's the good part about it. It's not a burden. You got to, right. I'm going to be quiet. I'll be quiet. <laughs> no, you could. Thank you. Right. You know, I think, um, Y'all always wanted us to rest. He said, he, but he's our rest. He said, I'm your rest. But he also knows the physical needs rest. So if we don't, not going to argue about rest. We know we need to rest. Now. And I think you need to take a day off and just uh, yes. be able to reflect and have a, a very peaceful time with, with y'all and yourself too. We do get yes. busy. It's a bit busy place we live in. So there's nothing wrong with that. What I, my thing is you can't do the ritual. You can't do it the Sabbath as Mosaic, Mosaic law would call for. That's all I've ever said. I never said you didn't, you didn't. If you want to take Saturday, just it's not the Sabbath. That's all I'm trying to tell you. Right, right. Fine. Right. You on a Sunday, maybe you work on Saturday. This is not a place right. where you have too much choice sometimes. Right. You're, I have a Monday. You know, Monday I would be, you know, well, I had a fast day, which would be a Monday. Uh, but I very seldom even fast anymore. I, I don't feel, I feel the Holy Spirit needs to lead you into anything you're doing. If you, right. Uh, he'll tell you. He'll tap you on the shoulder. Say, you know, you need to rest. You, you need to lay your head down. You need to pray. He'll tell you. Right. He got right. You. Because right. You can, uh, your humans have a way of of a fascinating, that being fascinated with habit. Mm -hmm. Creatures of habit. Yes. And, and what happens is, you know, it, it becomes an idol. Mm. That's the fear. Yes. Of religion, and that's the fear of trying to. Uh, do the feast. Mm -hmm. uh, let me tell you something I've noticed and see if you notice. Mm -hmm. I'm coming to you, Brother Lewis. I've not forgotten you. Um, have you noticed the arrogance in people that keep the feast? No. Oh, yes. This mm -hmm. is why it's wrong. Mm -hmm. Because this is what it produces. Arrogance. Mm -hmm. Pride of the flesh. 
Mm-hmm. That's why he said don't have titles. Mm-hmm. We don't want your holiday, your unholy days. We don't call them holy days no more. He said they're an abom- abomination to me. Mm-hmm. So if he says that, he means it. I knew where you were going to be. I sent you a savior. I sent you somebody to redeem you out of it. Because you could never, in the condition you were in, in four corners of this earth and not in the holy of holies, you couldn't get there. And even then, you, you wasn't doing what you're supposed to do. You was going whoring after other idols and stuff. So <clears throat> we have a nature in us, that carnal nature that wants to idolize something, even if it's ourselves or someone else or something, any and everything but God. Right. And so that's why it's hard for people who want to follow their flesh to give mm-hmm. in to the spirit. Because they don't get no credit for it. They don't get no kudos and those no no little stick men on the on the chalkboard for it. No um, no awards that you can see for it. Right. And mm-hmm. that turns them off. Mm-hmm. Because man wants to see some type of achievement being right. done. They don't understand the achievement is subtle. It is the, you're, 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 you're achieving y'all's will. Mm-hmm. Not in the flesh, but in the spirit. But people don't understand the spirit. That's why they say, well, they, that means you're not doing anything. Because they don't have a clue what you're talking about. Because the language we speak is not what they can speak. So then they try to alter the language. And that's what you run into these camps and things. They try to alter the language because they can't hear the spirit. Right. They can pull out rich rites and rituals. Yeah, anybody can read those and come up with something. Right. That's not what y'all's calling for. That's right. Yeah, I get that now. Yes. Now you get it. Yes, hallelujah. I love it. Because Nor, I'm even uncomfortable now watching um, uh, Watchmen on Saturdays because they say Shabbat Shalom and I, and it vexes my spirit now. Well, because where, you know the truth. Right. And it's not, you know, what it is, is given the wrong impressions. I don't think they really believe that you can do these things. I'm not sure, but I know. Right, because they did a full video on uh, the dance and these things and all that. I don't, I don't I don't really get into their business. I leave y'all, his workers to do what they, they feel called to do. But when it comes to Shabbat Shalom, uh, it's just a term because you're not really doing it. So why yeah. use a term? And Shabbat Shalom is more Jewish anyway. Mm-hmm. That's something we would normally say anyway if we were back in the day. Think about it. Right. So right. Uh, even that we copycat. You know, <laughs> we copycat mm-hmm. those we say that are, are the synagogue of Satan. That's the ones we copycat. Mm-hmm. And uh, we got to stop doing that. We got to be still before Yah so He can really help us get to where He wants us to. Yeah. So <laughs> it was great. <laughs> I took that day of rest, but I did something different. Yeah. And I. You know, did my studies and all that and just start writing. Well, there you go. Be inspired. Y'all. And I'll be like, y'all, you like that? Well, how does that sound? You can give me a different idea. <laughs> well, I had a good time. <laughs> Betty, I'm coming to, uh, coming to you in a minute. Uh, but I got brother, I think, Lewis, and then I'll come to Sister Betty. Uh, Sister, brother Lewis, thank you for that testimony, Sister Leslie. Brother Lewis. Uh, you know, we're all. African. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, we're all coming out of strong delusions and lies. Yes. Uh, And we've all had, Leslie, what you're going through, that feeling, because there's a lifting. Holy Spirit has given us all a lifting. Uh, Yeah, Usha said, take my yoke upon you. It's light. When we come out of all those religious rituals and all the things that we had to do, they're heavy. Because you're always trying to, did I do it right? Am I doing this? But it's not like that. Uh, When Yahusha went to uh, Calvary on that tree, he said it's finished. So there's nothing that we have to do from a ritualistic way. Jeremiah 31.25 says, I will refresh the weary and satisfy the faint. So Yah is transforming all of us. Yes. In his individual time and way through that personal relationship that through Yahusha's blood we've been allowed to have. Yes. So all yes. that relig- the religion that we all of us have had our heads turned around. But Yah is bringing us home now. Hallelujah. He's given us peace. Ooh, yes. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah for freedom. He said he that the son set free is free indeed. It ain't just a jargon. It's the truth. You ever said son said, I'll never go back. I'll never go back. Never go back. Yes. That's turmoil, confusion, heartache, hurt feelings. Toe stepped on all the time. You get a sore foot for your toe gets stepped on so much. These people don't love you. They love themselves. They don't even love y'all. That's like a, my husband used to say, uh, I tell a little story. He told me one day, he said he saw this fine looking sister and she was walking and you know, he, that's what his business was, fine looking sisters. I'm going to leave it like that. And this one was, and I'm not jealous. <laughs> and she was walking and he noticed she went to the, she was walking towards church. She was going to church, she, um, little church people. So he said, well, I'm cool. You know, I can handle this. And so he started following her to the church to get her to start working for him. He said, the, he said, the strangest thing happened. I said, what? He said, he said, the, honey, look and take your, take your beating. No, uh, <laughs> he said, uh, that was the closer that was she got good. to the church, she got, all, he, like the closer she got, the church moved away from him. He said, a, fa, fa, it's like it, slow motion. He was walking to get her and, he, and everything was moving back from him. <laughs> Tell me what y'all can't do. He said he got the whammy on him. Oh, that's great. Look at that. He could, he could <laughs> never get his hands on that woman because he couldn't get, he couldn't touch her with her. Touch that. He couldn't touch her. He that's knew. Right. I tried he, to touch her, but he, I couldn't touch her. He couldn't touch her. That's where y'all got she, you. They tried to she was annoying to that's she right. Was. She was one of us, I'm I sure. And that, and that hand of God just said, no, you I don't. Didn't know it and and, uh, that, and now, yeah, an angel protected her. Oh, he now, does. He does. I'll tell you one, another thing. That, uh, <laughs> I, I noticed that the right attitude of people that don't, that um, that want to do the rituals, they, they tend to be quite choppy. And ain't, they get angry quick. That's not y'all. But now here's the difference. Now me, I'm a prophet. Now some people forget that. And I had one person wrote me, you ain't woman, you ain't no prophet. I don't care what they talk about. They don't bother me. <laughs> Take it up with y'all. <laughs> gotcha. You know, but here's the thing. Uh, he says, so hey, you're a woman. You, you're not supposed to be doing nothing. You know, and but see, let's listen to the spirit. It's like Satan standing outside that same church that he was trying to get to, that he couldn't get into to get this woman. Can you imagine when you come out of the, of the Christianity, that there is that old sly one standing out there outside that door. Beckoning and call. he's beckoning Beckoning you. Call. And that's these camps <laughs> and all these other people out there teaching wrong. Beckoning call. No, no, a very, I don't know. I'm running, I'm waiting to run into someone who's anointed. I know that people say that. I probably don't know what I'm talking about, but I've been waiting and listening. I, I can, know, I'm listening for it with the ear. A lot of people have some good information, very I sweet know. souls. I, but hey, I've got nothing against them. But I don't hear the sound. There's a sound that comes with the anointing. It isn't just informational or even revelational. There's a sound. Mm -hmm. It has to be beyond them. That's what you're listening for. You're not listening for the personality. A lot of people have charisma. Yeah. There's a melody going. There's a yeah, there's a, there's a there's a there's a sound that's beyond sound that you can you can pick it up. This is y'all, this is true. This is right. Amen. And that's what you're gonna look for, no matter who's talking. Whatever they look like, you listening for the sound. And I listen for my father and whatever people say. Mm -hmm. I'm attuned to his voice and I'm listening for him. And sometimes I'll come away saying, well, that was good information. And that's all I have to say. So they gave me some good information. And then I move on. But I don't, I can't get back to that. So it's a spirit. It's, it's a spirit that's in tune to the spirit of your Ua. Please don't forget that. Uh, wherever you go, whatever you do, it'll guide you when you listen for that sound. It's real. All right. I have someone else I wanted to get Betty. 
Sister Betty. I just have a quick, simple question. Yes. Um, I believe it was Leslie that said something about, um, I'm old, what was that? Ugh. Take your time. If you can't come up with it, just, just uh, um, my attention. Communion, okay. communion. She said something about communion. Yes. Um, so I, I uh, had studied that for a minute some time ago. And it wasn't totally clear. And I heard a message regarding it also. Yes. I don't remember it. It wasn't clear or something. Mm -hmm. But are we not to do communion? I haven't done it in a few years. No, of course not. Okay. All right. And, and if you have time, you can explain to me why. I do have a video on it. I, uh, if you would remind me, I'll put it in the, the comp. Uh, up in the if I got room for it. If you have um, a, a if you video. have a video of it, I can find it. It's not an issue. Uh, uh huh. I do. But okay. what I will try to do is say as much as this is about communion, because everybody goes, ah, "No communion." Well, get over it. It's a Catholicism thing. Mm -hmm. Yahoo are never ordained or anywhere in the Word. That's what you always go back to. Go back okay. to the Word. Where you see the word communion at? Right. You see the New Testament. They, they, exactly. You see Paul talking about it. Well, Paul was talking about Passover. Mm -hmm. And that's what they did at Passover. They had the bread and the wine. Come on now. Right and, but you on. had you but remember, Paul had to leave the Galatians to get back to the temple in order to, to have the feast so he could enjoy the bread and the wine. You could not even Yahushua, where did he go to have communion? To have the, the, no, not communion, Passover. He went to Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Everything had to be done there. You couldn't do any of these feasts outside of there where Yah had placed his name, right over that temple. So when you do something outside of that temple, it's like adultery. You can't do that. As long as, well, look at Paul did it. Yeah, but see, the temple was still up in Paul's day. So they could go there and and, and and have and have Passover every year, and and the and the and the uh, celebration of the weeks. All of that was going on, fall har harvest and all, all. Every year they did that because why? The temple was standing after the spuria, and everybody was out of there, and the, the temple was destroyed. That was that. That was what Yah was telling you. Enough's enough. Cut it. Get out. And then they come back and say, well, we, but we can do it over here in Atlanta. Oh, we can do it over here in Los Angeles. We can do it over there in New York. Who are you? To come up against him and tell him what you're going to do and where you're going to do it. That's the problem with it. Because they think Paul did had to, uh, take this cup. Yeah, but wh where was he at when he said take this cup? Do you know that? He was right. in the place. His name was, the Yahweh's name was present. Now, he did not put his name in New York. In Memphis, in Denver, see, or Paris, one place. And right now it's being trodden on the foot of the Gentile. So okay. that's that. Mm -hmm. So if, if we understand that, now you understand the importance of Yahushua. That's the whole point. Without him, we would have no hope in this world. Well, that's where it made it confusion. That's what made it confusing because the word said, do it as often as you can in remembrance of me. Right. You know, so that's that being led by the spirit again versus <laughs> tradition. Because <laughs> he wasn't talking about doing no place outside of Jerusalem. Right. <laughs> and that's the key, right? Yeah, there. I tried to find a video on it, Mother. I didn't see one. There is one. I, I may be under Sabbath or maybe even under feast. Could be under feast. Oh. I sometimes bring in other subjects while I'm talking about So I have to look into it and see. <laughs> Uh, maybe I'll just go ahead and one day and just do a whole new one. But I, I, I just grab all the notes and just say, do it again. But I'll just maybe critique it a little differently. But yeah, yeah, it's there. Uh, I'll find it. I, I should have lifted the burden. I, I, I want to answer, Betty. Yeah. Yeah, no, honey, you did right. Now, by not, uh, there's no such thing as no communion. You, know, you go there to the Eucharist. <laughs> they call it the Eucharist now. They didn't move that even from the communion to the Eucharist. Uh, we studied all that in cemetery. But you can, uh, what is what is it for? Can you answer that? Anybody know? 
Why do you take communion? It's just say you, you, you disagree. I got to have communion. What are you taking it for? Anybody know? No, as because, often as you can in remembrance of your Usha who shed his blood for us. That's why I was doing I thought, it. I thought it was a ritual. That's right. And as often as you can is a word that they did explore. True. Mm -hmm. But if you look deeper and understand the traditions and the law, that's when you find out you can't do it outside of Jerusalem. Right. Yes. <laughs> um, the, uh, the church I grew up in had you believe, Yes, go ahead. The church that I grew up in had you believing that if you can't come and take communion and you have not confessed your sins or something happened or whatever, your heart is not pure and something will happen to you, something negative. That's, that's what you call control. Exactly. That's what these camps are about and all these other groups, not just the camps. I don't want to just jump on them because they are, they're a big part, but these other people that are out here teaching uh, uh, what they don't understand. Okay, thank you so much for answering that for me. You're so welcome. Because we're relying on ourselves to say that we're worthy and not Yah. He paid it all, he meant it. And they say, well, that's a cop out. That's Christianity. They can just live any kind of way. It's because they're ignorant. They don't understand the word. They just still don't understand Yah. They understood him. It has nothing to do with just devil may care, you know, lifestyle. So that just goes to show. It's spirit, and people don't want to deal with the spirit because it's not in them. The Holy Spirit is not in you. Well said. Thank you, Mother. All right. Um, I remember one time it was so difficult to do that one day. I had to tell somebody, you don't have the Holy Spirit. And I remember how that was such a oh, thing in church. You don't tell nobody that. that you blasphemy. You don't know what you're talking about. Who told you you could tell somebody who they what they had? And so it was quite out of my comfort zone to do it, but I had to tell them. Because you have nothing inside your spirit that looks like him at all. I can't find him there. Said, well, who do you think you are? You don't need to find him. I said, oh, let's listen at you. You're telling on yourself. So that's where it goes. All right, let's go to our subject. It's going to be, I think, a very interesting subject. Um, This is what y'all replaced for the one I threw away. I worked all day. <laughs> okay, and then all of a sudden I said, well, Father, show me what you want me to talk about. And this is what I found almost immediately. So this is what I pull up. Let's go to the first one. When the towers fall. When the towers fall. I try to put as many of these notes uh, in, in the uh, description box as I can. There's a limit of how many words you can use. But I'll, try, I'll see which one is probably going to be more in favor for you out there, uh, Yehudi and Yaswa likes who, who, is, who are listening right now. All right. When the towers fall, let's go to Isaiah 30. And 25. This time I want somebody to read that for me. Somebody turn on their mic and read that out loud for me. Yes, Brother Lewis. Go ahead. Okay. Isaiah 30, verse 25. Yes, sir. And on every lofty mountain and on every high hill, there will be streams running with water on the day of the great slaughter when the towers fall. Isaiah 20, uh, 30, 25. All right. Let me read it up. Did you read it from here? Uh, I'll read it from there. Yeah, that's what I want you to read. Uh, I heard about kind of looking okay. around like, it still said the same okay. thing, though. <laughs> that's good. But let's okay. read it from... Uh, un under man, oh, we all see the same. All right. Isaiah 30, 25. And there shall be upon every high mountain and upon every high hill rivers and streams of water in the day of the great slaughter 
when the tower falls. Towers. Tower fall. 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 All right, we're going to talk about some towers because we see a few of them, quite a few of them falling now. We saw the twin towers fall, of course, but we've, we're going to see a lot of towers. And we're going to tell you why we're going to see it and what it means so that you can have that understanding under your belt. And what, what does a tower represent? We're going to learn about that. Uh, if you go to the next uh, portion of this, right under Isaiah 30, 25, it says, a smoke screen for the powerful symbolism of vertical architecture. A smoke screen for the powerful symbolism of a vertical architecture. And that could be not only uh, a tower, but a tall building. A tall building is considered a tower. All right. Uh, towers present an image of wealth, success, strength, and power, real or otherwise. They symbolize power. They are the essence of power that seeks to what? Assert itself. Listen again. The essence of this power is that it seeks to assert itself. So you can look at it this way. Towers of power. Towers of power. And I've got that for you. And if you'll notice, I have the pictures there to show you uh, Canada, the far right. You've got uh, the Eiffel Tower. You've got uh, the Emirates uh, in the middle there, the tallest they say there is. You've got uh, the Leaning Tower over there uh, in France. You've got the, the uh, Ben uh, clock uh, there in uh, London and so on and so forth. New York is there. So you... Um, We don't think much about them as, as because in our Western culture, you see towers all the time. You even see now competition, how who can build the tallest. And you saw two of the tallest fall. I need you to remember that, uh, that date uh, when the, tower, the twin towers fell, because that's going to have a, a, a implication. It's a sign. It was a sign of these scriptures and what was coming. All right. I went to the to the old <laughs> dictionary. I wanted to know way back when what did tower symbolize to them? And this is what it said. A tower so called from its height. Okay? So called from its height. And may I say a tower can be one one a shorter than another tower. Depends on where you're from and, and the age in which it was put together. Some towers, uh, like uh, they thought was a tower, and found now it's completely shrunk, shrunk compared to other towers. But at that time, that building was considered a tower. Okay. So you go on to say Genesis eleven four, especially used uh, of the tower of fortified cities and castles. Jude eight nine, uh, Judges. I'm sorry, nine forty six sequence. And read all the scriptures. And of the castles themselves, castles would also have towers. Towers were like lookout points to keep the castle safe. Uh, your your sentries would, would, would mount them and, and watch out for any type of enemy activity that was on the horizon from a distance so they could be prepared, send out the signal to be prepared for, for battle or war or defend the castle. So those are towers too. And you can sometimes use these interchangeable and sometimes not. We had our towers, too, to look out. <laughs> They're lookout points. All right. Um, then you go on elsewhere used of watchtowers, which is what I just mentioned. I'm not going to say to all the scriptures. Of the watchtower of a vineyard. We talk, we, are, we should talk about uh, the watchtower in the vineyard. It's to keep, you know, things from coming, of course, and, and uh, of course, the, uh, into the vineyard and stealing, taking, or 
injuring the vineyard in any way. Uh, then you have Isaiah 5 and 2. Then as a, a, a metaphoric use of the powerful and strong men. And I, that's what I want you to underline. Powerful, strong men. And it gives you Isaiah and so on. These will be posted. And uh, Isaiah 30 and 25, for instance, we just read. All right. Uh, two, a lofty platform, which you understand. Or three, a bed in a garden rising up and higher in the middle. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, or thy cheeks are like, you know, the beds of blossom. You know, we can talk about that. We understand. So we're going to stop there. But it's really the fortified town with a tower. So the tower represents a town that's being well protected, fortified. All right. Uh, so there are towers that are not uh, emblems of, of uh, what do you call a uh, uh, what's the word I want to use? Uh, arrogance or uh, what do you call it? Pride. There's this needed to take care of what it is they're taking care of. The vineyard or the castle, whatever it is. Those are for that. All right. Almost like a, we would call an alarm system today. Uh, you know, you have an alarm system. You have an alarm clock. You have a... a, a alarm cameras, you know, you have all kinds of things now posted, centuries in a sense, to keep an eye on your property to make sure that no, no one trespasses with the wrong intentions. Is that right? All right. So we're not talking about those kind right now. We're talking about a different kind. So I wanted to set up, that's not the ones we're talking about today. All right. I want to go to our uh, main scripture. And what did I do with the chat? <laughs> eh, that's funny because I was doing some work on it and I will do that in a minute let me just hurry up and get the chap can I get that on the end okay hold on let me let me tell you what that is um, I can get it real quick so mother is that the same as the tower and the shepherd of Hermes Oh, that's completely a, no that's a completely different type of tower okay. uh-huh uh-huh i have uh, cut off nations uh let's see uh, da, 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 da. uh let's see oh that was giving me the niv i want to get the uh oh do, do, let's get the king james i like to use the king james uh here we go uh, inheritance, streets waste, valleys, branches. Come on. Ha, ha, ha. You know, I can't stand sometimes. It's, uh, hold on, let me just get another word. Because sometimes these people aren't that good at it. Uh, oh, I know what it is. It's uh, Babylon. Okay, I know what it is. And I think it's, Gen it's right in my face. <laughs> it's <laughs> Genesis 11. I don't know what I'm doing. You precious. <laughs> I started to say it, but I wasn't sure. But I'm yeah. Well, no, no, wait a minute. That's uh, that's the humanity. Hold on, let me just make sure. Uh, no, 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 it isn't that one. Hold on, that's the other one. I almost thought I had it. Uh, let's see. I'll get it in a minute. No problem. Zephaniah uh, three. Didn't that say, That's what it is. I wrote it on the thing. Zephaniah 3, 6 through 15. That's it. Thank you, sweetie. I just didn't write it on there, and I got to make sure I do that before I post it because they won't know. Even though I set it up at the top, I don't. Thank you, okay. sweetie. That's it. Zephaniah. You're welcome, mother. Thank you so much. Oh, that's my little Harold. I'll start calling you little Harold. I like that. Mm -hmm. All right. I have cut off, verse 6, Zephaniah. I have cut off the nations. Their towers are desolate. I made their streets waste, that none passes by. Their cities are dis uh, destroyed, so that there is no man, that there is none inhabitant. I have cut off the nations. Surely, verse 7, thou wilt fear me. Thou wilt receive instruction, so their dwelling should not be cut off. 
howsoever I punished them. But they rose early and corrupted all their doings. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith Yahuwah, until the day that I rise up, or raise up to the prey. Now he's going to, He's going to rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms, those that rule, to pour upon them mine indignation. Even all my fierce Anger, not just anger, fierce, fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured. Do you hear this? Listen well. Oh, I don't have. Yes? That was Zephaniah, what? Because I don't see it in my notes. Three. Six. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I didn't write it in here, but I did put it on our. I sent you out the bulletin. I just didn't. Put it. Okay. All right. Fierce anger for all the earth shall be what? What's going to happen to all the earth? Fire. How about just half the earth? Fire. So he's talking about this fierce anger that's on its way here. Fire. That's going to happen shortly. And right now, it's just begun. He said he's going to do what? He's going to devour the earth with what? The fire of his oh, jealousy. They th now, how he and what he and when he uses is up to him. He can use a, a fiery confabulation from from out from the outer outside of our uh, uh, in our universe. He can use bombs that men think they're doing something, and he can just he can have a man just go around and just bomb up every one of the facilities that man has put together. Mm -hmm. Amen. Could do it. Every one and destroy this earth with it. Mm -hmm. But I'll guarantee you this, it won't be man that'll put it into it. Yah said he would. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Verse 9. For then will I turn to the people a pure language. Mm. And we didn't crossed over by that. Them ships and took us out of here. I'm telling you. At that point, I want you to look at that verse right before there. You see that skip? He's going to destroy this earth with fire. Got it? Mm -hmm. What is your sign? I have cut off the nations. Their towers are desolate. That's their power is desolate. Their, govern their government is desolate. That which represented their uh, wealth is desolate. All they put their faith and trust in to say mm -hmm. who they were were desolate. Mm -hmm. He's going to make them desolate. He, he's going to do it. Mm -hmm. Will he do it with World War Three? Could be. You don't need them to tag whatever name they want to tag on it. Let's go to 9. For then will I turn to the people a pure language that they may all, may all call upon the name of Yahuwah to serve him with one consent or one accord. Yeah. From beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, Africa, Messerim, I put, my supplicants, my supplicants, or my suppliants, even the daughter of what? My disperse. That's who he's talking about in Africa. We got Shemites in Africa too. 
on the islands, in the Americas, all, all four corners of this mm -hmm. earth. That includes every every plateau, every country. Amen. That's what he's saying. That's us. Shall be what? Mine offering. My offering. My offering. In that day shalt thou not be ashamed for all thy doings, all the things you've been through, all the things you suffered. You will never be ashamed of those things again. All the things they called you. Mm. All the things they made you, you out to be. You, you. you will not be ashamed Hallelujah. ever again. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. We're going we're gonna to trade some shame up. <laughs> we're going to trade some shame up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go on. No more shame. Mm-hmm. So he's going to call us from the four corners, from the from the continent of Africa. Mm -hmm. He's going to call his daughter out of from the dispersed. And they're going to be his offering. And then he said, for they will not be ever ashamed again for their doings, wherein thou hast transgressed against me. You don't have to no more feel bad mm -hmm. about the things you did or I did or ancestors did against him. He's going to remove that shame. Hear that? Mm -hmm. but then I, I will take away <clears throat> out of the midst of thee. This is what he's going to do out of our midst. He's going to take them that rejoice in thy pride. Mm -hmm. See, and thou shalt no more be haughty because of my holy mountain. He's going to get those from among us. I told you. They say they awake. And what did I tell you all this stuff is going to produce in them that they want to do? Pride. Honey, please. Pride. Do you hear that? Where do you think that pride coming from? From disobedience. When he said not to do these feasts, not to try to do a Sabbath according to Moses, Mosaic law. When he told you that, that you have to rely now and trust in the blood and the, of, of your Usha and the spirit of the Ruach HaKadosh and lean not to your own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Not you and what you think you should or shouldn't be doing or you're going to try. Because what's going to end up is he's going to have to get you out from among us. That's he can tear. All right. Listen to this carefully, what he's going to do. He says, I will take away out of the midst of you them that rejoice in thy pride. And thou shalt no more be haughty because of my what? Holy mountain. There won't be no more haughtiness. Yah says, a broken and a contrite spirit he will in no wise cast out. Mm -hmm. A people that love Yah cannot have a haughty spirit. They don't have that in them. We're defend, we will defend the word. Oh yeah, some people take that the wrong way, but that's just what it is. Yahushua did. But what it is, he's got to take the pride out of people or either to get them, they have to be destroyed. Mm -hmm. And I don't know the process he's going to use for that. And I don't even say they all be lost, but something's going to have to move. All right. Twelve. I will also leave in the midst of thee an afflicted. Now, he's going to take out the pride. People, all them folks full of pride. But wait a minute. He said he's going to leave some something with you. He's going to leave the afflicted and a poor people. And they shall trust in the name of Yahuwah. So what is he saying? Are these people all sick and bent up and broken to pieces and, and all that? Don't look at it naturally. This is not a natural thing. He's looking at the broken. Those who have said no longer I, but he that lives and dwells in me. The pride of life is not taking them over. They are humbling themselves. They are the people of Yah. And he's saying that they will be afflicted. 
The word it used to have a time when talk about when we would afflict ourselves because we have disobeyed Yah in order to repent. He's talking about repentance. Mm -hmm. Brokenness yeah. means repentance. He's calling all of us to repent. Every man, every woman that wants to, Amen. that the Yah is in their life, that you you believe he's calling you, the first thing ought to be off on, on your mind is repentance. Mm -hmm. That's what the affliction of the soul is called. Mm -hmm. Affliction. He ain't talking about a physical thing. He's talking about affliction of the soul. When you finally have come to the, that conclusion that it is Yah and not I. Forgive me of my pride, of my haughtiness, of my stubbornness, my thick skull. How horrible that was. And cast yourself at his feet. That's the affliction right there. Hallelujah. And the poor, Yahusha said, the poor in spirit, he's talking. He said, blessed are the poor in spirit. <clears throat> Can't talk about your bank account. For they shall see Yah. Yes. Blessed are the poor. Mm. Those who say, no longer I, but Yah who lives in me. The old man, she, she didn't move down. Gone. Thank you. Good riddance. And your Usha by the Holy Spirit has moved in. No longer I, but he that lives within me. That's the poor he's talking about. Blessed are the poor. Those are the people that hunger. When you're poor, you're always hungry, aren't you? Huh? Amen. Always hungry and thirst for righteousness. That I'm poor. I'm real poor. <laughs> I want them poor, 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 poor. Because I'm seeking and searching for righteousness mm -hmm. in Yahuwah, not in my flesh. His righteousness is the only righteousness that can cover our sin. Hallelujah. His righteousness, the blood paid. For his righteousness to cover mm -hmm. our sin. He clothed us in white robes. To represent the righteousness of Yah placed upon his children. Mm -hmm. Yes. Be afflicted. Yes. And, and be poor in spirit. And because those are the ones that's going to see him. One verse. Go ahead. Matthew 4, 3. Matthew 5 and 3. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for there is the kingdom of heaven. That's right. There it is. Hello, somebody. That's right. You poor in spirit, but I'm I'm grateful. There's the if kingdom. If you're not poor, come on Hallelujah. in. Let me, let me pray. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yes. Lady. You got that? <laughs> so when you read that, know what you're talking about. Matthew 3, and that's 5, good because. Hallelujah. Yes. All right. Thank you, dear. And they shall trust in the name of who? That's the ones who are going to trust them, the ones that's afflicted and poor. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. I'm in that group. Are yes. you in that group? Oh, yes. <laughs> hey! Here we are. Hallelujah. We are. You know why you're here? Because you're poor. <laughs> Hallelujah. You're poor, poor. You know, uh, uh, we're in this group. Come on here, lady. Yeah, second page. Yeah. And, uh. Y'all are poor. Hey. You better be. Because all you're saying, oh, what he's saying is you're always seeking. You, you're never satisfied. The more you know, the more you want. Put it on up here. Come on. You think you know something today? <laughs> you, Hallelujah. You don't want to know something tomorrow. That's Hallelujah. just the way it's going to happen. Right? Yes. And you're quick to repent. You're quick to ask yeah. forgiveness. You don't hold things. Mm -hmm. And and you that's that's keeping your, your, your vestige clean. That's right. Examine it. Keep it clean. All the wrinkles. Oh, I saw a little wrinkle in my dress. I had to wrinkle it and get that out of there. And just keep, and that's the walk we walk. And yet they don't. The people that are, want to be under these feasts and things, they're working on the wrong thing. Where's your heart at? Is it clean? Is it spotless? 
Yes. Are you working on that? Because that's what y'all's looking for. You're not going to impress him with how many holy days you thought you kept. And he's going to say, I didn't tell you to keep one of them. You should keep them forever. But you, didn't, you had no concept of what I was talking about and to and when and how. And you could have. But you didn't hunger and thirst. You thought you, you thought you had had met that uh, a criteria, and you did, and you hadn't. That's what you think you know. Take another look, because you don't know what you think you ought to know. Pharisees had a lot of information, but they had a, they had it all misconstrued. He said, "Look at you, you look who you're talking to. You can tell the weather when, what kind of weather's co coming by looking at the red sky when it's going to rain and when it's not. But you can't even look at me and can't even tell the signs of the time." That's what we got going on now. We got people, if they understood the time, times like they should, they wouldn't be out here with all this vain talk. It's not time for that. This is get ready time. Mm -hmm. Get dressed up, get ready. Mm -hmm. The groom is coming. Get your lamps trimmed and burning bright and take extra with you. We ain't got time to run around here doing all this. Cause that ain't gonna save nobody. Can't. That's right. Then what you need to save you for? Hallelujah. You're on the second page here. Yeah. All right. So, <laughs> wait, Brother Lee. Uh, all right, let's go on. 13th verse. The remnant of Yasserel shall not do iniquity. There won't be no iniquity thought of. Remember? Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's good. You know, sometimes your mind goes back and says, oh, what did I do that ugly thing for? It won't be none of that no more. You're not going to go back ever to remember those things. They'll be gone. And even now, they don't have the pain they used to have. They, they get lighter and lighter as you go. As you get deeper in him, the, the errors and sins you made get, get, they start not taking a toll on you like they used to. Because you know you were ignorant. You knew that you that, that he saw it and still loved you. And that, that, that so helps, doesn't it? Doesn't that help you feel better about it? Not what you did, but that he loved you in spite of that ugly thing you did. Yes. Isn't that the Hallelujah. truth? Hallelujah. 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 When you Hallelujah. Did, he was right there. And he still chose to love you. Get out of here. <laughs> what kind of love is that? <laughs> Come on. That's like a, a husband standing over you, adulterous wife, his adulterous wife, and having compassion on her. Forgive a father. We should all be singing from the roof. Does <laughs> you understand? Yes. All right, Hallelujah. Let's go to thirteen. The remnant of Yasharel shall not do iniquity nor speak what lies. Oh, be careful of that. Most mm -hmm. high, mm -hmm. elect of the Most High. We mm -hmm. don't have to lie about anything. Stay with the word. Let That's those good. words be your words. And not your opinion or listen to opinion of people out there chit chatting all the time. If you don't be, if you're not careful and, and weed it out, it, it can become a part of your psyche. And you start thinking that that's truth. If you got to prove me, prove it. And that's why I couldn't go with the 6,000 or 7,000. I said, oh, you don't want us to know right now. You don't want me to know. I'm not going to deal with that. Because you're going to show me in your word. And if you can't show me in your words because it ain't there or it's not time for me to see it. But either way it go, Father, your will be done. Don't try to force things to happen. Y'all has an agenda and 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 you and, and it's just wonderful to go along with him with it. Because that's something you don't have to deal with. He got it all taken care of. He just said, walk with me. Come on, child. Let's go. It's a wonderful place to be. So it says, you won't be speaking lies. Neither shall a deceitful tongue be found mm -hmm. in your mouth. Holy people. Holy Not even a little deceits. Well, mm -hmm. I said I was going, but I don't feel like it now. So when they call, say, oh, I got a headache. None of those little deceitful things going to be going mm -hmm. on in, in no more. No, no, no. You won't even think about them. Your mind will be so pure. It'll be just like your Usha's mind. Let this mind be in you. <laughs> that was also in Yahusha Mashiach. And they shall trust. That's what I love. Remember that word I tell you? They they pump faith a lot, which is great to have faith, of course. But that word trust always gets my attention. 
trust. Trust is a big, powerful word. Hallelujah. It really is. You can you can kind of wing ding a little bit with faith. You sometimes you hit and sometimes you miss. But with trust, that's a hundred percent. The remnant of Yasharel shall not do iniquity. I love it. Let's go down to 14. Sing. If my husband was following, you didn't even know this was sing. Sing. Oh, so sing. <laughs> sing, oh daughter of Zion. Sing, so sing. Sing that today. Oh, Yasharel. And I took the E. If you notice, I put A L. I was moved to move that E. Ain't no L to be in our name. That's the oh, false God. I said, wait a minute. Why we got to be called Yah is okay. Then get to the end. Yah sure El. <laughs> I don't care what it's spelled right. I don't care what they books, dictionaries. I don't care what they concorded. I don't care what they say. I took E out. From now on, you might see some old writers of mine with an E. I had to take it out. I said, no, we we are Elohim's people, not L. Well, praise And uh, <laughs> I said, Yasharah, hallelujah, Yasharah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. Hallelujah. So y'all forgive me for old stuff, but hallelujah. I got a revelation. I said, I ain't going back to that EL no more. Okay. Hallelujah. Let's move on. I just want to tell you sometimes I, I get some, I guess I get some things that I have to, I'm cleaning up. I'm fixed I'm myself up. I'm cleaning the house. I'm dusting hallelujah. the shelves off, hallelujah. you know, um, it goes on to say, be glad and rejoice with all the heart. Yes. He don't glad. want you sad. Think so. He wants you glad. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. You yeah. gotta show people they don't have to live sad. Amen. They can live glad in him. Be happy, be happy. You know, Paul told you even in the prosecution, uh, smile. <laughs> <laughs> they can they can not <laughs> hey. <laughs> Don't don't get a, a bad disposition. I'm going through. Yeah. What's that song we sing? I'm going through. Oh, I'm going through. I tell the world whatever others do. Well, who else is hear that? Telling the world I'm going through. It's so sad. Sweet. I tell the world we done went through. Hello. Well, you know, when I get, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to shout. See, he said tell after. So mm -hmm. if, if you can't smile while you're talking about it, keep it to yourself until you can. Mm -hmm. I'll you know, going to turn it. Let me tell you about your father. See, he's he allows us to go through heart, hardships and heartache for a moment, for a moment in time. It's never going to last. And it's true. It's true. Bad times don't last always. I know you thought it was going to last forever, but look, it did stop, didn't it? Thank it you. did move, didn't Hallelujah. it? Something shifted Hallelujah. in the atmosphere. Boom! It was gone. You say, look, mm -hmm. I was in that mess. I didn't know I was going to get out. Didn't have a plan. Didn't have a man. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> but look at me today. I never thought I was going to get out of that tight squeeze. I never thought I was going to get out of that financial heartache. I never thought I was going to get out of that relationship that was so abusive. I never thought I was going to get out of this place. But listen what God did. Hallelujah. Got you through it. Hallelujah. Now, tell. Because I did go through it and came out. He didn't say stop in the in the midst. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he said keep going. If you're going through, you move, you're moving. Hallelujah. I'm going through to get out, not to stay Hallelujah. in it. Come on now. Come on now. Hallelujah. The joy of him is our strength. Remember, whatever you're going through, whatever you're suffering, don't stop. Keep going. Yah has the light for you at the end of that tunnel. He wants the glory. That's how he gets it. You watch, read the scriptures. Whenever there was hardships of Yah's people, yeah, he let them go through it. But at the end, remember, he always got the glory Amen. because he brought them through. Yes, he did. Never have I seen the righteous forsaken. No, or his seed begging bread. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I'm not going to fear no evil. Oh, if Putin going to gonna blow up this blood, Putin ain't going to do nothing unless y'all let him. He, he is not in control of this earth. 
Now, if you believe he is, that's, oh, I couldn't sleep at night if I thought that man was in charge of this earth or any of these other devils. Mm -hmm. devil. Include the one mm -hmm. over this country. All of them, devils. Mm -hmm. And y'all said they towers. We're going to read a little bit more about them towers. Mm -hmm. Got to come down. All right. Let's go on. Sing, daughter of o Zion, shout, O Yasserah. Be glad and rejoice Hallelujah. with all the heart, O daughter of Yasserah. Yes. Why? Oh, y yes. Yasserah. Why? Yes. Because you are the people of Yah. Yes. Yes. You have been hand selected, Hallelujah. called out from among them, set apart for his purpose. You are his beloved treasure, mm -hmm. the apple of his eye. Hallelujah. 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 Fifteen. Can you back, open that door? Let's get a woman these lights. The, I uh, see, Yahuwah, take the, the, the off. Yahuwah have taken away thy what? Thy judgments. Mm -hmm. That's big. Hallelujah. That's big. That's big. Hallelujah. We all deserve death. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All of us. Hallelujah. Ain't no one didn't deserve it. I deserved it. You deserved it. Everybody deserved mm -hmm. death. For the wages of sin mm -hmm. is death. Mm -hmm. That's the payment. But he said, I took away your judgments. I did. I threw him out of court. Yeah, threw him out. Threw him out. Threw him out. Oh, yeah. That old devil come up there oh, trying yeah. to bring up something in your past or bring up something uh, mm -hmm. that against you. He's accused of the brother. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and the judge going to say, I don't see that name down here. Oh, Get out of my court. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't see nothing you, you bring it up here. <laughs> what you talking about? Well, oh, mm -hmm. they must have put their faith in that old Yahusha. Yeah, they yeah. sure did. Get Won't out. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Get out. It it's been right. thrown out of court. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. The king of Yahweh, even Yahuwah, it is in the midst of who? Us. Us. Listen, you got, you got an issue. We just took one today. You got a problem. You got to trust him. I not come like on time when you think like somebody said, but he gon' he gon' take care of it. He's yeah, always yeah. Oh, see he's never late. I gotta, you just got to get it done yeah. too early. You the one trying to move the schedule. His schedule is on is timely. Oh yeah. Oh, come uh, on. We gotta let me share this testimony. <laughs> you, you have to wait on him. Yes, you do. You're not gonna push him into something. It's not time for. Because he has a reason for his timing. Mm -hmm. You just Hallelujah. you just anxious because you know, yes. And wait, uh, Isaiah said he that waited up on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount over right. as eagles. They shall, they shall not be weary, they shall walk and not faint. That's right. So you're gonna be double folded in blessing. That's right. A double fold. Hallelujah. I don't know. It's it's something to when you wait. wait There's on, no yeah. waste you in waiting for y'all. That's right. <laughs> All right. Yeah. 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 Can I share a testimony? They like the world. They don't want to wait for nothing. No, they don't. You better eat that raw ham. Let you take time to cook it long enough. They just in a hurry all the time. May I share a quick testimony? Sure, you can. <laughs> it's a family day. There was a time I was I was hanging out with my with my boyfriend and I didn't know where he was bringing me, but he was bringing me to a bowling alley so that he could purchase some some crack. I didn't know this. You know that. So we're in the vehicle together, and the and the detectives come up to the car and they say, "Well, if you got what you got, if you don't have it, if you have it, then she goes with you." Okay. Mm -hmm. So he had it. So he ended up taking us down to the jail. And it's my first time in handcuffs. And as I'm taking off my jewelry, getting ready to do my handprints, one of my neighbors, who is a detective, saw me and she yelled out my nickname, Cookie. And I looked and she said, Get out of here. And 
from that moment on, I was just like, that was your fault. I just stepped in. I would have got a felony charge for something. I had no idea. Just, 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 just me being, you know, I don't know, naive and ignorant, you know? And um, he, he stepped in, he stepped in in the last, at the last second, right as I was getting ready to put my fingers down, he just, somebody just called my, 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 he the same me. name, yeah, my nickname and, and, and got me out of there, so. Uh, let's get things. Oh, oh, hallelujah. Well, stories we can tell like that. I know, dear. We know it happened. I don't know. I know. I know. Well, that's why I love everybody to hear about their stories and what they've been through. You know what yes. I mean? You have to be family. We got to, like, if I got a real issue going on, I'm going to come to y'all and tell y'all. That's right. Hallelujah. That's what you do. That's it. That's, it, that's what we fuck. Hallelujah. Well, we'll, we we'll, we'll get it. We'll get it nipped. Literally spit, split. I can bear witness <laughs> okay. to what she was saying. We got a, We got a father who's. Oh, yeah. He just said, "What did he say? I'm with you. Oh yeah. I'm in your midst. <laughs> yes. You just did. You just read that. See, see, little man told you that he from his mouth. So you can trust that. Not somebody's opinion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Or tradition. Oh, yeah. I don't want to hear that. I didn't heard that long enough. It didn't pan out. It didn't do me no good. I'll stick to the word, die with it if I have to. But I'll clutch it with all I got. You ain't taking it from me. That's right. Hallelujah. That's the way I feel about it. Hallelujah. All right. What is he going to do? He said he's taking away our judgments Amen. and cast Amen. out Amen. our enemies. Get get. Hallelujah. He done cast out your judgments. But he ain't cast. No, he cast them out too. He cast out your judgments and he cast out your enemies too. Jesus <laughs> said, "Enemy," and I know who that is. That's that that rascal that, 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 that uh, provokes others to do naughty things that they've been thinking of doing in the first place. <laughs> oh, the devil may know he ain't made you do nothing. You wanted to do it, and just need a little temptation to get the nerve to go do it. Yeah. The king of Yasserel, even Yahuwah, is in the midst of thee. Oh, he's right here. Do you hear that? Right here. He's right here. Yes, he is. What you need, mm -hmm. y'all got. What you want, no, y'all got. Y'all got it. Y'all got, got, got it. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. Y'all got, 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 got it. What you need, he what you it. need, what you want. Oh, he yeah. He said, I'm in the midst of thee. He's right here. How Thou shalt not see evil. Gonna do away with the That's, You won't see it no more. No way. One day we, you won't even have to look at it on the news. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It will be gone. There won't be no Hallelujah. evil where you hit it. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> First we have to process. Get rid of it. We'll be going through a process. We're not evil anymore if we're righteous. Mm -hmm. then, then we are ready to enter the eternal righteousness. Hallelujah. That will go on forever and leave all that stuff will be so far behind. It'll be gone. It'll just be dissipated. Disappear. I thank y'all for that. Hallelujah. Let's go to um, Man Made Towers. Uh, Mother, I just wanted to share how, how yes. it said there too, even in, in the word where it says the king of Yashiro. He is the king. And they took that out of the scriptures. They took king out. And every now and then it'll pop up somewhere. But that, it's, it should be always be. He is the king. See, we got a king. This is let me explain. We're in a kingdom. Yes, we are. And we don't call our king a lord. He could be a landlord for all we know. <laughs> king tells you he's the top. That's the head. See, that's why I took that king off of there and put Lord. I keep trying to tell you all that. But he's, he's the king. Mm -hmm. And you are a part of his kingdom. Amen. So, call him king. That's right. He is the king, not he just a king. king. He is the king of kings. Hallelujah. I don't know where they got that Lord of Lords from. Because mm -hmm. I don't find that in scripture in the Old Testament. He is the king, period. Mm -hmm. And he is the king of kings. Sure, that's fine. Because man has meddled. All right. Let's go to man-made towers. Second packet. Just a couple of pages. 
uh, Isaiah 30 again, 25. And there shall be upon every high mountain, upon every high hill, rivers and streams of waters in the day of the great slaughter mm -hmm. when the towers fall. Let me tell you something before I go on. And I got the building that they erected uh, in the place of the Twin Towers there uh, New York, in New York. Okay. Exchange building there. All the money. All the business is right there. Now, let me say something. They got them spread out in little short buildings now uh -huh, mm -hmm. around there. Uh, that Those towers, I know they blame Bin Laden. I, I, he never got a chance to say whether they did it or not. So, you know, Doug. I don't trust these folks, okay? Now, I ain't saying who did it because I don't know. But I know it's in prophecy. And I know that... You have to hear prophecy to get an understanding why those towers fell. <clears throat> those towers didn't just fall for whatever reasons that, that man has put out. But let's look at it from, from the spiritual side of the house, from Yah's side of the house. That fulfilled a prophecy. There was a, a night or early morning, I had a vision. The vision was so, I actually heard an angel's voice. I was on a fire escape at the top of a fire escape. You know, that's where they have them in New York. I've never been to New York on the New York fire escape. But I was on a fire escape, but it was sitting in the middle of an ocean. Mm -hmm. Normally, you'd be afraid because if you're on a fire escape and nothing around you but water from as far as I could see. But I wasn't because I understood I was having a dream. And so I decided, since I knew I was having a dream, I would enjoy the view. It was beautiful. That ocean was so lovely. It wasn't stormy. It was just beautiful ripples in this ocean. And it's like an ocean does. And uh, the sky was so blue. I was just looking up at it. I said, this is a really a nice thing to have in a dream, you know? And so then one, I just happened to turn my head to the right which is east. And I saw way in a distance, way in a distance, these little peaks of building towers from, this is way away. You just see the little tips of them from it, but you know it was a long way away. And um, I looked at her, I'm, I'm in a dream, I'm enjoying the view, so I'm thinking, I don't know what that is. I'm just talking to myself. And then I kid you not, let me try to explain this to you. I heard the most frightened voice that you could ever want to hear. I, I heard the voice but couldn't see anyone. But I knew it was coming from heaven. And something in me said, it's the voice of an angel, a messenger of God. And this voice said this, it's New York. Yah's judgment has come to earth. Mm -hmm. And I screamed. That voice made me scream. Mm -hmm. My husband will tell you, I woke up screaming to the top of my lungs. Mm -hmm. I was right. beside myself. Like a trumpet. That was right before, not too long before 9-11. I screamed and screamed and because that voice made it real. It was not phony. It was real. And I didn't know what to do with this. It's what do you do with this? So I just told my husband about it. Those who would listen, I told him. That's all I could do. Mm -hmm. Never forgot it. That voice so powerful. Wow. I could see three angels being 200,000. That voice. I could see Jacob's, like Jacob's voice with that, that certain sound. It was, it was penetrating. It was, it was definite. It was definite. There was no, 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 no shadow of turning in it. And I, when that towers fell, I remember it because I never forgot, it. forgot there was a vision. 
And I said, oh my. And this was my message at that time. And I think you might go back and hear it. I said, oh my. Yah's judgment has come to earth now. It was the sign that his his uh, retribution had started way back then, right? And that tower was a sign to his people that he's here with judgment in his wings. Yeah. And if you will notice, ever since those twin towers went down, all hell's been breaking loose, the worst has ever been in, in a concentrated effort. Mm -hmm. So I went from there. I said, well, they're still there. You know, everything's moving on. They built up another tower um, in its place, and we have moved on from there. But then I'm going through my notes yesterday, looking for something else that y'all has spoken to me, and I, I keep a little uh, a file. Uh, and I saw the towers again, and it, it, I was drawn into that. I said, oh, I see. We're going to speak on the towers today. We're going to speak about the tower, aren't we? And so I, I I worked on the second the second one and I I just have to really the scripture and uh, I just said all right father what do you want to talk to us about because right now there's towers going down all over the earth people aren't noticing them and I want to talk to you about these towers and what they what they signify like it was just said. You, you can tell the, the weather by the sky, but now mm -hmm. almost they can't do that. But you can <clears throat> actually see what's really going on. you got to go to the Word to reflect preacher, what's going preacher, on. Preacher. You can't use news or your opinion or a thought or a book somebody wrote. Mm -hmm. you got to go to the Word. What is y'all saying in the earth right now? Mm -hmm. He said, number one, I'm near you, so don't fear. That's, that was the one I just read to you. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to judge these people. And I'm also going to judge those among you who's carrying on. Mm -hmm. Remember the other night when I said to them, I said, you keep your mouth off this women of Zion. You keep your, your, your filth and you keep your trash away from us because y'all going to judge you for that. Mm -hmm. yes. Well, this is coming right to, the, to, to address that as well. Whoever you are, mm -hmm. whatever you look like, you put your hands on one of y'all's people, you're going to pay dearly for it immediately. This ain't going to be no 100 years from now. Like we left before. Mm -hmm. This is going to be immediate. Mm -hmm. You will lose your mind. Did you know y'all can take your mind? Yes, you he can give you an evil spirit. Preach it, preach it. You don't have to take your life. There's all kind of ways y'all got to get you. Mm -hmm. He can take those you love the most. He can, he can do anything. Anything he wants. Hallelujah. Don't don't look like oh yeah I'm still here. Are you? Let's 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 read. Okay, it says uh, a short history of tall buildings. I wanted you to hear what the world says about the tall building. Uh, the the making of the modern skyscraper, and this is published. I got that, and underneath it I have where you can go and get this site that I got it from. And there's some more reading you want to do there. You can. But I just wanted this part. From the legendary Tower of Babel to the iconic Buji Khalifa, humans have always aspired to build to ever greater heights. Over the centuries, we have constructed towering edifices to celebrate our culture, promote our cities, or simply to show off. Historically, all, tall structures were the preserve of great rulers. And that's where we're coming from. Mm -hmm. Religious and empires. Mm -hmm. Religious and empires. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So let's find, let's get a little deeper. The Tower of Babel. Let's remind ourselves what this was about. Uh, Genesis 11, 4 to 6. And they said, go to let us build us a city and a tower. This wasn't no average little watchtower to watch over the city. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. This was bigger than the city. <laughs> this was mm -hmm. something monumental. Mm -hmm. uh, whose top may reach into heaven. And we know we know the whole story, so I'm not going to go into that. And let us make us a name. There you go. This is what man does when he wants to build something huge he wants to make a name for himself yes, yes. but it's not as innocent as it sounds mm -hmm. 
and drag them out. Mm -hmm. Lest we be scattered mm -hmm. abroad, which is what y'all said for them to do, mm -hmm. uh, abroad upon the face of the whole earth. Mm -hmm. And that's a clue about how people did eventually leave and go to different lands. People, how do you get over there? Don't worry about it. They, they got over there, okay? They got over there. And your soul ain't got nothing to do with how people got to where they get. Now you're spending too much time on that instead of getting ready to pack to go. All right. Anyway, let's go on. Uh, I think anything that's thrown out there to just take our attention off of the right of the real thing is going on out there now. Now we got to figure out how the Indians got to, to North America. Now we got to figure out how the Africans got to before Columbus. Well, we know the ships. Okay, well, fine. Well, how long are you going to stay on that stuff? All right. Uh, and Yahuwah came down to see the city and the tower. And I believe he came as a man. I really do. I believe him and his angels, just like mm -hmm. they did to Abraham, kind of stood there yes, at yes. a distance on a hill, a mound, and just sit there and looked down. <laughs> <laughs> he was sitting right there. Yeah. You come down before. Yes, you he said he came down. Yes. And he was with his angels, not three gods. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you got that? <laughs> Just like he did when he would visit Abraham. He didn't want no three gods. He had two he had some companions. All right. Oh my goodness. All right. So uh, he came down. To see. What do you mean he came down? That's what he said. He came down to see the city. He wanted to see it with human eyes. He wanted to check out that tower which the children of men build it. And Yahuwah said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language. And this they begin to do. And now nothing will restrain, uh, be restrained from them. Yeah. They're trying to worship all these, you know, demons and, and carrying on and making a, a portal for some devil or somebody, you know, whatever they was trying to do, y'all wouldn't have it. Uh -huh. uh, which they have imagined to do. Yeah. They had, had ima evil imagination. That's what they had. Imagination. Now, let's look at the tower. Okay, now that's one tower. Now, you notice what the tower represented. It represented man's uh, uh, wanting to be God. Mm -hmm. Man's wanting to be Yah. Man wanting to be like Satan, equal mm -hmm. with Yah. Yes. Yeah, I think so. I think when you see these edifices, people don't think about it just because, oh, look at that pretty thing. But you don't understand the people that, that, that come up with this. Who puts it in their minds? Well, he's just a very uh, good architect. And he's just, no, I ain't no just nothing. There's something to that. There's a statement being made for every building being built. There's a statement behind that edifice. All right. The Tower of uh, Penu, Penuel, Penuel. It's a long U sound, Penuel. Um, representative of arrogance and defiance. What do you think all these obelisk there in Washington, D.C.? They got an obelisk there, like an Egyptian obelisk, right there in the heart of, of Washington, D.C., right there in front of the what? The White House, the Capitol. So right there in the middle of, of Washington, D.C., that is something that you need to take a note of. That's one of those towers I'm talking about. It is signifying defiance. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show you. All of them eventually do. So, this is the case of uh, Gideon, judge of Yasserah, one of the judges there, found in Judges 8, 4 to 17. And Gideon came to Jordan and passed over. He and the 300 men that were with him. They were faint, yet they kept pursuing the enemy. And he said unto the men of Succoth, Give, I pray you, loaves of bread unto the people that follow me. You know, give my people some sustenance. They, they've been fighting. Mm -hmm. they tired. We mm -hmm. need some refreshment. Mm -hmm. All right. For they were faint, and I am pursuing after Zeba. And Zalmuna, I want to say Zamundo, but, <laughs> but you could say that's close. That's close. Zamuna, yeah. king of Midian. <laughs> and the princes of Sukkoth said, By the hands of Zeba and Zalmuna, now in thine hand. In other words, have you already fought this fight? And, and now, you know, you the victor? Because mm -hmm. apparently you ain't, and you look a mess. That's what they were saying. You look tired, 
and spent. Mm -hmm. You're hungry, mm -hmm. and you ain't won no battle yet. And now you want us to feed you? Oh, then it mm. mm -hmm. yeah, it's like they did Yasserel Edomites when he was trying to get through. Can mm -hmm. we go through your land? We're gonna pay you for it. Mm -hmm. No, you ain't coming can't through here. here. You watch them folks. Mm -hmm. Devil, Satan got them sitting up places waiting mm -hmm. for you to try to get through. <laughs> oh, but no weapon. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, let's move on. So uh, he said, hey, you know, uh, you ain't won no battle yet. And yet he said uh, that we should give bread unto your army. You ain't going to feed no, you might be a loser. <laughs> Mercy. That's what they said. Mm -hmm. And Gideon said, therefore, when your Ua have delivered Zeba and Zalmunna, into mine hand, cause that's 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 what he, he was. He knew what the battle was going to produce, up. victory. Yeah. Uh huh. Then I will. You know, I'm coming back. Yes, ma'am. And address you for this. I'm gonna you. tear your flesh Ooh, with you. thorns <laughs> of the wilderness and with oh, briars. Yeah. I'm gonna scrape the skin off yes, of you. Oh, yeah. You looking at this person? But he represents y'all. Yeah, oh, no, not y'all. The one to carry the lamb around mm -hmm. and look like he just never hurt nobody. Mm -hmm. I said, this is this is his judge. It was his, judge. his judge He's represented ready. him. He called Gideon. I mean, he even gave him his fleece and miracles. <laughs> and he said, you you going to tear the flesh out of you because yes, they are not respecting Yah's person who Y'all is using. And Y'all will tear your flesh off of yeah, you. Yeah. He's back. He'll do it. And That's right. Going. He ain't oh, playing. Oh, oh, He's in the midst of oh, us oh, now. Oh, it ain't like he was no, no more. Torture. That's a torture. Y'all's showing his mighty hand. Yes, he is. All right. So eight. And he went up thence to Penuel. And spake unto them likewise. Okay, so Sukkoth wouldn't help him. Mm -hmm. They went to Penuel. See if you'll give us some help. Mm -hmm. And asked likewise. Same question. Can you give my poor men something to eat? And and the men of Penuel answered him as the men of Sukkoth. Mm -hmm. No way, Jose. Just like they answered him. Mm -hmm. And he spoke also unto the men of Penuel. So, all right, so I'm going to speak to you now too. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm going to do to you. <laughs> Saying, when I come again in peace, when it's all over, said and done, oh, and I done yeah. won the war, oh, yeah. I'm going to come back here. I'm going to remember mm -hmm. how you turned us down and turned us away. Mm -hmm. I will break down this tower. Ooh, now, you got to remember who who's behind it and the oh, message is yeah. God has given you. The arm is right with it. This ain't just about the, 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 the tower of Penuel. This is your father oh, telling you how he operates, what he's going to do to your enemies. This is king of kings. That's what he's doing now. Mm -hmm. Everybody got a side, but it's all both sides are going to end up being destroyed because right this is away. Yah's doing, right and right it's away. marvelous in our sight. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. He said, "I'm gonna break down the tower." Oh, well, you know that's your place. <laughs> hey, hey, that's your show place. That's, that's the that tell the world who you are. That. That that that's, that's uh like their towers, their yeah, twin towers. Hey, wait a minute right. now, you can't be tearing down a tower. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because oh. tearing down a tower not only injures you, it tells the world you're no more. The more you don't exist. You ain't so high for loop now. Mm -hmm. That's why they didn't. The t that was a big deal. It was a big deal. To tear the tower it down. Is. It is now Zeba and Zamuna were in Karkar. And their hosts with them, about 15,000 men. All that were left of all the hosts of the children of the East. That was what was left, 15,000. Mm -hmm. For there fell 120,000 mm -hmm. men that drew sword that were fighters. Were so and all of them was cut down except 15,000. Mm -hmm. When Yah is on your side. You can take over. All right. Ooh, ooh, come on now. 11. And Gideon went up by the way of them that dwelt in tents on the east of Nobah and Jagbihar and smote 
the host. The army is the host. For the host, not the one who greets you at the door and give you some tea and crumpets. Not that host. <laughs> Just a little joke. Okay, little something. All right. So, <laughs> the host is an army. Mm-hmm. That's why Yah is the king of hosts. Yes, Woo, know. them angels are some hosts, honey. <laughs> All right. Oh, yes. So he said, for the host was what? Yeah. They were secure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And when Ziba and Zalmunna fled, he pursued after them and took the two kings of Midian, Ziba, make, y'all like to make sure you know their names, don't mm-hmm. you? And Zalmunna, and discomforted Huh? Not some. All the hosts. Oh, well, that's a nice word, isn't it? Discomfort. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and Gideon, the son of Joash, turned from the battle before the sun came up. Mm-hmm. He was done. He didn't whip them till they just whipped less. Mm-hmm. There wasn't nothing left to whip. <laughs> And caught a young man, verse 14, of the men of Succoth. Uh oh, it's payday is coming after a while. Yes, it is. <laughs> payday is coming <laughs> after a while. Put your time in. Put your time in. Payday is coming after a while. Payday is coming after a while. All right, let's move on. <laughs> yes, it is. That was your television commercial break. Now, <laughs> back to the story. <laughs> All right. Thank you for the thank you for thank the reprieve here. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. So he caught this man of Sukkoth and he inquired. He asked about he asked something about from him. And he described unto him the princes of Sukkoth. He gave identi- he identified them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is what they look like. This one wears this. This one have a bright red hat. Think he's so sharp. And he wears a big medallion on his neck. Like mm-hmm. look like Tubac. And then the other one, he's <laughs> I got all boy of boots. Oh, yeah. <laughs> got a fur collar, yeah, you know, yeah. made a leopard skin and all that yeah. stuff. You know, he was nailing them all. Mm-hmm. Tell them what they look like, identifying them. Mm-hmm. All right. These are the leaders. These are the head honchos of the country. These are what they look like. Y'all know every one of these countries and their leaders and all of them and know exactly who they are and what she they look is. like. That's what he's telling you. Mm-hmm. All right. And not only them, the elders, the the supposed to be the wise people of the mm-hmm. land. Mm-hmm. Uh, even three score and what? And so 37, what is that? 30, is that 37? Somebody know about mm-hmm. the, the uh-huh. men. And he came unto the men of Succoth and said, Behold, Look. Ziba <laughs> and Zalmuna, God rubs it in, he was in the name, with whom <laughs> you have, you with whom you did upbraid or tease or hurt. What what they did was they they chided them. They 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 are they they gave them a hard time and embarrassed them. It was very mm-hmm. embarrassing to have your men need food and these people and so uh, make light that. of it. Yeah. And and, right. and and yeah and say all kind of cruel things. Couldn't do that. All right. And so uh, he upbraided me, saying, "Are the hands of Zeba and Zalmuna?" Now in thine hand that we should give bread unto thy men that are weary. Word oh, verbatim. Y'all will use your vain mm. words verbatim. Mm. Don't you don't know, skip words. Them words you use, vanity, yeah, but they are, they're down written down. Mm-hmm. You notice know, the same words exactly. Mm-hmm. He went fought since then. But then forget their words. Go why? The Holy Spirit bringing all things back to your remembrance. Mm-hmm. That's who brought it back. And he took the elders of the city. What did he do? Ooh. He took them. <laughs> and thorns. What did he get the thorns? He got them. Collect some. He did exactly what he said he was going to do. He got the thorns of the wilderness and briars. And with mm-hmm. them, what did he do? He taught the men of succor. Well, how did he really teach them? Well, you get your skill word or yeah. with some some briars and and, and some thorns. Hello. Uh, you gonna teach a lesson to him? Tie him up. He didn't tie him up. He he did what he said. Took the skin <laughs> off. To get that tied up. Stuff. You don't need to tie tie up nobody with no skin. Mm. They ain't going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't going nowhere. Torture. Yeah, that's 
what he did. Okay. He, he did what he said he was going to do. Yeah, it was torturous. Did what he said he was going to do. Mm-hmm. I remember Dominic said this. I was working at, at the company I worked in. And the manager over everybody, she was a little uh, Japanese lady. I was looking for my pen on my desk that I love to use. My theater. I have a supervisor, but this was my supervisor's over her. And and so this was up there. And I couldn't find it. And I heard somebody, I told somebody, whoever got my pen, took my pen without asking me off my desk, and I find out who it is, I'm going to step on your foot. <laughs> well, I found out it was the manager who took my pen. So I had to go over there and step on her foot. Because why? I said I was going to do it. It was just inbred in me. What you say you going to do, go on and do it. What? So, you know, I learned because I had so many instances like that. Keep your mouth shut. <laughs> I said, excuse me, miss. I don't want to tell you her name. I said, but I said whoever took this pen off that desk, that's my pen. And you didn't ask me for it. That's mine. I want it back. And I said whoever took it, I had to step on your foot. I said, where's your foot at? And I stepped on it. Thank you. <laughs> Went on back to my desk. Because even in me then, there was that that Yehudi that I didn't know was sitting up in there. That's who we are. Keep your word or keep your mouth shut. Right? Mm-hmm. I'm glad you didn't say you was going to shoot nobody. I didn't have a gun anyway, so I don't... <laughs> okay. No. no. No, I wasn't a violent person. I just want to teach people to stop taking things that don't belong to them. That was that mother instinct in me that kicked in. Yeah. But I did go get a gun after somebody was now. Don't put, don't put, don't, hey. And guess who I was going to get the gun after? A cop. Mm-hmm. That's that. Okay. That's another story. Oh, my goodness. That's another story for another day. Hey, you that story, mother woman. Hey, you ain't going to get that story today. <laughs> But you remind me, and I'll give you that whole story. That's gonna take too much of my time. I tell you, they lay high. I had them laid out in the street with them. Them my AKs pointed at me at one time, wow. and I was nobody's criminal. These folks was crazy. That's what it is. They didn't know I can get crazy too. Anyway, let's move on. We got to have a special Zoom for your stories. We're gonna call it Zoom Stories or something. Stories. Oh. I, I said, Mom, you gotta write a book because you you you. Every time I, t- I I slapped that cash register, a cash cash chef's side on head, oh, wow. almost knocked her head into the cash. Oh, wow. I was so bad. <laughs> you know what it was? I always had discernment, and it was always a gift. And you always kind of knew how far to go with certain people, and that's something I had a gift in. Everybody can't be doing stuff like that; they get killed. But me. It's something I could sense in my spirit what I could do. And even when I wasn't walking with y'all like I was supposed to, that was just inner in me. This one you can say something to. This one you better watch it. You know, and uh, I thank y'all for it. And it's really keen now to look at people and know kind of what you can say, how far to take a certain subject. Uh, y'all taught me uh, how to walk among men. I think that's what I, would, I learned, how to walk among men. Because I have to walk among them. And I have to know how to do it. So I think it's just it was lessons that were going on to do what I do today. How to talk with people. How to listen to people. I don't just talk. I listen to. And so it's just he puts us through certain things and we learn. I wouldn't slap nobody now. Well, I wouldn't say I wouldn't slap. I would just say it would have to be led to slap somebody. I don't hit people. I would have to. It would have to be really something. I don't know what it would be. Maybe somebody I saw hurting a child or something like that. You know, it would have to be really extreme for me to try to grab. These hands can't grab too much. <laughs> so I'd have to have that super strength that Jacob's boys had. You know? Other than that, nah. You don't have to fight. We got the Holy Spirit fighting for us. We ain't got to worry about it no more. No, all praises. <laughs> Thank you, Father. That was back then. And this is now. All right, let's go on. So he got them thorns and the, and he got them briars and you can understand what he said. What did he say he was going to do to him? He said up in the uh, verse number seven 
at the end, I will tear your flesh. That's what he did. So that's what, that's what taught him. They, he did what he told him he was going to do, and his flesh got torn. All right. Uh, so he taught them. And he beat down the tower. Then he went and did the second thing he promised. He beat down the tower <laughs> of Penuel and slew yeah. the men of his city. Yes, in other words, that city is no more. All right, last little bit we got, and we're going to open up the mics and just have a good family discussion. And I'm going to talk to you more about towers of men and why Yah is judging them and what you can expect to see coming. Uh, mm. that, uh, that big bolt of lightning that hit that one over there in Saudi Arabia somewhere, they, it was like uh, one of their tall towers, and boy, that electricity came from that from the uh, lightning bolt. That was a sign too, but people I don't think could pay attention to it. Mm. They would say, "Oh, look at that bolt hit the very tip of that that uh, tower that they have over there." I said, mm. "And the one I think they did one uh, uh, even near I think one of the religious spots over there for for Islam. Mm. Uh, it's they're happening now, and they're they're signals. Mm. Towers are being uh, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, directed. The angels are being directed." Mm -hmm. powers have to come down he's talking about the governance the government the government more so than the literal but they coming down too but it's basically your governance the people that are running these countries remember he said he's coming after them kings he's mm -hmm. coming after mm -hmm. these leaders he mm -hmm. meant it all right let's look at who our tower is who is your tower let's read some scriptures three of them it's real small short uh second samuel 22 3 the Elohim of my rock, in him will I trust. He is my shield. Mm -hmm. And the horn of my salvation. Oh. My high salvation. tower. We got a tower too. Mm -hmm. We got a tower. Mm -hmm. And he got the power. Hallelujah. And my refuge, mm -hmm. my savior. Thou saveth me from violence, <laughs> underline it, honey. Thank he you. is Thank that you. one who protects from Thank violence. You. Thank you. Thank you. Psalm 61.3. For thou hast been a shelter for me. And a strong tower. From the enemy. From the enemy. Protect us. The name of the Most High, I didn't get that one out. The Most High, Yahuwah, is strong, a strong tower, and righteousness runneth into it. Mm -hmm. You can run it because you are his righteousness Hallelujah. through Yahusha. You, Yahudi, that yeah. have been born of the spirit of the Most High, you Hallelujah. are the righteous that can run. Everybody can run into it. Mm -hmm. But you can. Hallelujah. Thank you. And Hallelujah. be safe. Hallelujah. I used to sing that song, Safe in His Arms. In his arm. Hallelujah. Safe. Safe. These towers yes. of men must come down. Must come down. Hallelujah. Because they are arrogance against who? The most high. The most high. Mm -hmm. That's why they're coming down and all those that that put them up, that countries have got to come down because that they're doing is saying, I'm God. It's my wealth. Huh? It's my name. It's this city's name. We are, we are the ones in charge. We are the gods of this world. When you see those towers, that's what you hear. That's why the builders in scripture were always the worst of enemies to y'all. They always felt because they could create a building or build something, an edifice of something great and grand. It became them. They began to see, well, look how, how grand I am. See what I built? They began to see themselves in reflection of what they could build. That's what happened to Nimrod. He thought in himself that this is who I am. So y'all came down and took a look at him. <laughs> oh, yeah? We'll see about that. 
These are people that are in rebellion who have no fear of Yah, who want to be his, not only his equal, they want to be like their, their leader. They want to put their throne above his throne. I have no respect or awe about any of their buildings or their towers. I know what it signifies, rebellion. You see it too. Rebellion, this is who I am. I'm an Emirates king. I've got all kinds of money from the oil well. I'm going to build something so tall and so magnificent. It's about them. They are the tower. They become it. Look at Herod, the great, they call him. Eaten by worms, calling himself God. Why? Look at all the things he built. He even rebuilt the temple. He built all kinds of buildings. But he was the enemy of Yah. Because the more they build, the greater they are fooled to think they are. So, you see towers falling right now in Ukraine. That's just one place. And I'm not on either side. I don't care. That was Russia's land anyway. And, that they, and, that not, and that's the biggest uh, ish capital in the world next to Yasserera, uh, next to Israel. Did you know that? Yeah, and they got people there, all kind of people with all kind of missiles pointed towards you know who. We know the story. Oh, poor Ukraine. Well, this is prophecy. That's for the reason they got, but it still came down, didn't it? You know, I told you why earlier. And sure enough, that's what's been coming up on the news. It's been a stronghold for the Ish people. That's about their last big one next to Israel itself. Being attacked. The synagogue of Satan. That's all it is. Not that the other that's attacking is any better. All of them got a mark on them for doom. That's not the point. Y'all will use who he wants to get what he wants done. He can use a jackass to talk to Balaam. He can, hey, he can use anybody, anything he wants. He said a rocker crowd. Yes, he can. So uh, let Y'all have his way. Don't get into these political discussions. They're not important to us. We see the handiwork of our father. And we're going to stay on that side of the uh, the fight. Let them have their own. And there's going to be more. This is the beginning of sorrows. The beginning of wars. Mm -hmm. They got war getting ready to be broke out now. Here you go. You can have these. Uh, uh, we're done, though. But yeah, okay. I was, I yeah. Was but you uh, have to understand that now. Stay out of the fray. Stay out the way. Your father coming through. And he, he ain't taking no prisoners. Any you can open up your mics if anybody has a question or wanna Yes, dear. Is there something lost? Go find it. <laughs> We, we will have to. Yes, do. stop loud so they can hear. Oh, yeah. Um, hello. I have a question. Um, there you go. No, I, it was just referring to. I just. Oh, hello. Hello, family. So, uh, I would I would just ask you about kind of like what you were talking about earlier uh, the ish. Yeah. The well, I, I have to say ish because I try to keep certain names out of my mouth. Oh. Uh, you have to know what I'm saying. Yeah, well, I'm saying. Yeah. I don't get it. Like. You don't get it. What? Isn't um, isn't uh, putting uh, uh, a Jewish too? Isn't he Jewish too? No. Oh, okay. He's not Jewish. Mm -mm. It would make no difference anyway. Hitler was. <laughs> Hitler was. What? He? he was part. Anyway, yeah, that's not the point. The point is the towers got to come down. The the, the 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 names and the dates and the people aren't what we want to talk about. We want to talk about what Yah is saying about what he's doing in the earth, which was destroying the I towers. He's destroying the I powers. When you say powers, you're saying towers. Yes. When you're saying towers, you're saying powers. That's what we're trying to get you to say. I want to inject something. Mm -hmm. Some few nights ago, I had a dream. This 
whatever it was, a missile or a, a, a meteorite came down on Israel. It came down and hit the ground and it started tearing the ground apart as it went down. It just kept eating up the dirt. And the buildings, that was foundation in the ground. They were eating them up and the building was coming down because of the, whatever this world was eating, this, everything it touched. Mm. And it was, the building was just crumbling on the, at the base part. Mm. The foundation was just being destroyed. And this was going throughout the land. And I was in the heaven position. I was on my way up. And I looked back and they had fire start spreading across the earth. And I saw that was a few, night, a few mm -hmm. nights ago. Yes. Wow. And I see the earthquakes, uh, these fire, uh, uh, the, uh, the fire that burns under the earth, it burns the volcano, burns the dirt. Mm -hmm. It burns the dirt. And listen, listen. Hello, somebody. It just destroyed everything in this path. You can't stop it. It's going to happen. And I saw this happening to the earth. Mm -hmm. And we were being out of here. I was mm -hmm. up in the heaven. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. I was out of here. And I looked and saw it. There was nothing I could do. I just went on in the heaven. But you look at the situation happening today. The plague is full charge. The plagues, you can't, you can't stop them. And this is what's happening is as we look, if we're not in Ahusha, we'd have missed it. In other words, the boat then left us. If we're not in Ahusha, we, we, we missed it. And there, there's no way you can come back. Mm. It'll be over for that soul that don't accept Ahusha. That's the only way out. And that Volcano, you look at that, if it starts spreading all over the land, where are you going? Yeah, they got one now. They're looking at right here in America. It is the Yellowstone. That's it. They say it'll take up off the half of the United States on. I saw it. Wow. Yeah, it's going to happen oh, one day. It was out of here. Hello, yeah. so It's going to happen. Y'all getting all of them volcanoes. They just doing little hiccups now. Yeah. They just getting ready to cough up the real. <laughs> <That's laughs> it's called saying. everything will be burnt up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right, that's what the word says. Yeah. Fire will be burning. Mm -hmm. The earthquake is eating up everything. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Thank you, dear. Yeah, can I bring it? Sure. I wanna I wanted to say one thing on the road. Well he didn't see you coming. Okay, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Brother Anthony. Well no, that's, uh, that's okay. Let me get him and then I'll come and get you, Brother Anthony. Let okay. me get brother. At the other Anthony. <laughs> Anthony. We got two. Oh, let me just yeah. say. Um, it says here in verse six, I have cut off the nation. Their towers are desolate. I made their streets waste. You know, every time there's a war, the streets become waste. That's the right. Ukraine is now wasted. That's right. And we don't know what they did either or not or, or whatever, but there's, there's desolate. There's apartment buildings that are on the ground and rubble. There's people, counts people are dead. Um, Russia's is going to have its turn also. And, and, and mind you, remember back in the day, there was a black group called what Tower of Power. They had no idea what that name meant back then. I remember them. I remember um, the, the thing is that, that, that I see I've been catching bits and pieces because I have been at work today. Yeah. But what I noticed about these towers is pride in them. You want people to look at you and say, oh, look at me. Yeah. I'm way up here. Yeah. But you're not. Yeah. And, and what comes up must come down. That's Except, right. Come on now. Yeah, them buildings don't mean nothing. No, there's really. buildings falling down all the time. They don't mean nothing. Every 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 time there's a New Year's uh, uh, celebration, here go Dubai, popping off the same fireworks every year. Ooh, ah. So what? So what? Mm -hmm. When the fire comes from heaven, what's, what the fireworks going to do on the building? Can't nothing. You can't stop it. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting how people want to be so uh, monuments, have, have these monuments to remember mm -hmm. them come by. On. And by by next by tomorrow, I'm not even remember who they were. You know, it don't, it don't make no sense. Yeah. 
You got towers all this over the place. This is peace for our people. These people are haughty. They're haughty spirits. They, they got all this money. They're CEOs. They're the ones on the top floor. And it don't mean nothing. Honestly, it don't mean nothing. There's no power in those towers. No. No. Well, you know, that's right. They got to come down. They got to come down. I said they got to come down. Oh, that's good. There's no power in them towers. I'd rather be on a mountaintop. Not before you. I'd rather be on a mountaintop than on top of a tower and above a mountain. I'd rather be up in heaven. So let's put it that way. Come on, brother. Man made. I'm going to be something y'all made. Oh, praise God. All right. Come on now. Heaven is. Glory, glory. Glory is coming down. Well, I thank y'all for that. Wow, that was a that was really a surprise. Yeah, huh? That was good. Thank you, brother Anthony. Yeah, All right, much, brother it's Anthony Hunter, this time, come on in, brother. It's real. Uh, what's crazy? The scriptures that you went over today, a couple of days ago, I put a scripture on Instagram. Uh huh. Zephaniah uh, chapter two, verse two through four, and it says, uh, "Gather yourself together." Come on. Ye gathered together, O nation not desired, before the decree bring forth, before the day as the chaff. Yeah. The fierce anger of Yahuwah come upon you, before the day of Yahuwah's anger come upon you. Come on. Yahuwah, all ye meek of the earth, which shall brought his judgment, seek righteousness. It may be shall be hid. In the day of Yahuwah's anger. Mm. And Hallelujah. That's the judgment of nations. Well, this is the word of Yah, and He's pointed at today, right now where we're sitting, right now where we in this land we're living. Let me tell you mm -hmm. something again. They held the dates back. I will say this much about the dates. The dates uh, have been held back from us. They have misconstrued. I think. Uh, the Jewish calendar, they just not uh they they were two hundred and thirty-nine years off. Now they say they're only fifty-seven years off, uh, which is either one of them true. Uh then you got people that are talking about this seven thousand years, this was supposed to be the millennium, so they're trying to skid us get out of town because they know it's seven thousand years now. Mm -hmm. Right. I believe that right now. I don't know what day it came in, I don't know, but I know it don't take a mathematician to figure out seven thousand years. So where is your millennium? Where is your Usha coming up to set up a kingdom of peace for you heathens? You put that in scripture was never true. Don't teach that to the people of Yah. We do not receive it. Why would he go through all of that to set up a kingdom to prove to you who he is? That they could be a peace with him over it. That's not, that's not the word of the Most High. You just heard what Brother Anthony Red, that's what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. You think he gonna tap this earth and then make everything beautiful for you heathens to come and live a thousand no, years of peace? Nope, be. not happening. New heaven and new earth. New you really think that? That 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 just goes to show you the brainwashing. Because that's no point. What's the point of that? And they know what they're gonna do. They says they're gonna rebel anyhow. Mm -hmm. Isn't that what the words say? They still gonna act up at mm -hmm. the what? Duh. That's right. Don't look for no millennium, a uh, uh, thousand years of peace. You're already in tribulation and don't know it. You don't know what year he's coming, but he's coming pretty soon. Mm -hmm. Because the time is up. It's just, it's just, a, it's just now. You just take it day, day by day now. Just take it day by day. Because you're already at the place where he could come any second. That's right. I mean, just taking, out. And he, there's more things apparently he wants us to see just before. Uh, pull that chair out of that uh, uh, mirror for me. Uh, the, uh, uh, the end of this place. Mm -hmm. It should be something to sober people up instead of them going all around messing up time mm -hmm. that they don't have much left of. Mm -hmm. Even if time goes on, let's say another 20, 30 years, we don't even know if it's going to be that long. Uh, it, you could die today. So your time is up now. So what the what then? It's over. You don't know if you'll be here tomorrow. So why play games? Why hurt people? Why try to why try to build your own tower? 
What's the point of building a tower? Did you hear what, what y'all said? He said, I'm coming down and look at your tower. Yeah. That's what he said. And you know what I'm going to do with your tower? I'm going to tell you now. We're going to rebuild, you said. He said, I'm going to come and tear that down too. We're at the time of the big tear down. <laughs> <laughs> you want to call this a, <laughs> name this a motion picture? <laughs> the big tear down. Yeah. He already told us tear down your churches. Yeah. You saw what happened to them. They ain't half what they used to be no more. Mm -hmm. Tear down your churches. I have to read that again. If not, go and get the video. It's there. Uh, you was just called Tear Down Your Church. That was a vision that y'all gave. You do not. James, James, uh? James Brown said the big pay, the big payback. Oh, it is the big payback. Oh, yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah, y'all can talk to anything and anybody. Right. It's just, it are you clued to hear it? Mm -hmm. All right, anybody else? I don't see any hands. You think you, no one has a, a, a question or a thought? All right, we're going to let you go then. We're just going to pray and ask the, the Most High to let his word just sink in. And when we see the troubles come upon this earth, know exactly what God's hey. doing. You're not in the dark. That's what this is about. I mean, so don't get uh, frightened or upset when you hear. You know how many explosions have been going off periodically all over the place? Nobody knows. Nope. Well, we investigate. Nope. When you finish investigating, so we can find out why the, the building out of nowhere just went up in smoke and flames. Yeah. And you got a, a, a what? A whole neighborhood got evacuated. A, a lot of factories, and I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they're doing it for insurance, whatever it is. But I don't know what it is. But I know one thing: they're being blown up all over the earth. Churches are being caught off. I remember the old ones, the ones that's been sick. Mm -hmm. Those are signs. There was their their steeples falling off these oh, places. Yeah, Earthquakes taking down these yeah. old buildings. Yeah. Church, your towers are falling. Hey, hey. <laughs> that's what's going on. Take them down. Mm -hmm. Your towers are falling. Your economy. You see the gas prices is falling. It's falling. So towers are powers. Coming down. And they're coming down. So have no fear. Your father Abba is here. Hey. <laughs> and he is in the midst of us. And he has taken care of his uh, own. I don't care if the price goes up ten dollars a gallon. We right here will be just fine. Yeah. Fear not, little ones of evil yeah. doers. Do you hear what I'm saying? Don't worry about what they're doing. Just make sure we're ready to go. Make sure you hunger and thirst. Make sure you afflicted in your spirit that you have said, I am not a God. You are the only Yah there is. Hallelujah. I will take what you say. Hallelujah. Not what man says. And I will move on it. Hallelujah. I will trust you. Hallelujah. No matter what I hear or what I see, my trust is in you. Father, we thank you for this time together. We love you so much. We thank you for this wonderful rehearsal, getting ready to leave and meet you at the wedding. Getting ready, dropping off the weights that this world tries to unindate us with. No worries. No frets, no matter what they're trying to say or do to you. They will not prosper against us. Hallelujah. You are our fortress. You are our tower. And you're not a leaning tower. Hallelujah. You are a strong and mighty tower. And your righteous little ones, your, your elect, we run. We run into you. And we are safe. Safe from this evil, afflicted, pulverizing, wicked world. Free of fear. Full of trust. Thank you for this wonderful message, Father. We take it most seriously, soberly, and we will reflect upon it as we see the days rolling by. Thank you. The towers must fall. Amen. 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 We love you. Come on. Come on. Ask better. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
wonderful evening. Yeah. We love you. Love you, Royal love you. family. Bless and love. Shalom, family. Royal family. We love them. Love you. Hallelujah. Love, uh, you. love you all. Love, love you, family. family. Oh, hello, Royal family. We you enjoy. Look good. We enjoy you. Oh yeah, say goodbye. You look good. Yeah, so oh, brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he gets some ride. Like, I'm late, you made it. Yeah, take care. We love, love you. It. We're praying, oh, God. We haven't forgot you. We love you, God. Love you. Nathan, we love you. Nathan, tell Theo we love him too. Royal family. All right. Hallelujah. Thank you. Mama. Mama waiter. <laughs>